Yo, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day and welcome to the video and the Autodesk video that we got about Hogwarts Legacy was a really fun video to watch. It was really cool getting a peek behind the curtains and what they do over there and it was really fun to watch because like I don't know a lot about creating video games. I just play them but it was really fun to see what goes into like making some of the stuff like the character creation everything which is really cool. Um, and even though Chandlerwood said we will not get anything new in this video, we did get some cool new stuff. We didn't get like a big trailer whatsoever, but that's okay with me. We got some new stuff, which is really cool. And one of the cool things that we got to see was the character customization menus, which is of course the same style that we saw in the trailer um, when they showed the in-game menu with like the talent stab and everything. Um, they showed like a great deal of choices already which we can pick from when we like create a character which is really cool and um, even some more in another part of the presentation um, although uh, this is more of an in-house um, builder instead of like uh, everything for the character itself I think this is also like um, for the NPCs and everything that they build over there which is really cool so at first i do want to take a look at the in-house editor which was really cool in here we of course get like uh, the first thing that's the body section but right below that we got the outfit section with a great deal of choice um we got choices for hats socks shoes uh, robes scarves rings gloves and masks and glasses and i do wonder if we get in-game choices for all these items or that these are just combine to make certain outfits uh, of course i would like the first option like give me the option to completely overhaul my character and how he looks and 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 buy different socks and different shoes um but that's something we have to wait and see but when they open the rope menu we get some interesting choices uh the first we see sir patrick delaney potmore which is of course the founder of the headless hunt and who refused nearly headless nick to join so we can probably expect him to float around and might even interact with him or we might get another dead day party which all the ghosts will be attending um yeah so then we get some portrait armor and then we get professor black we even see two choices for him and i wonder what is different about these two options but we'll just have to wait and see for that but i think the most interesting option is the deadly hallows one um and if this is one of the robes we can wear, I one of the things that pops in my mind is the invisibility cloak, which would be weird to pop up. Um, I don't think it would make sense within canon. Uh, this is mainly because the cloak was, as far as I know, passed down within the female line until it was given to Harry. So maybe it's still there at Hogwarts some, somehow with like... Uh, the person that it belongs to you can maybe uh, loan it from somebody but yeah it might also be just a cloak with the deadly hello symbols on it um to just wear and like that would make it just for like the fans to see uh, now going on from that the rings would be a real cool item to have in game only just to have like cool outfits but also sticking with that i know from canon there were no real enchanted jewelry that gave the wearer a benefit uh, they might go that route in game, but I don't think so yet. At least we, we haven't seen anything about it, but the only ring so far in the wizarding world with real significance was Marvolo Gaunt's ring, which turned out to hold like the resurrection stone. So as far as magical rings, I don't think that will be in game, but I'm, I'm not sure we still have to wait for that. And then we actually get to see an in game menu for uh, your character creation which looks really awesome i really love the style and i i think it fits so beautifully we first get to see some presets and then going over some of the presets here we see some male and female characters and as they pick through some characters we can see the hair change the facial features change like jaw lines and it's all maybe subtle but still there's like decent changes in the character to make it feel different also i really love the sort of cards these characters are being portrayed on which is so awesome really cool i love it then going to the next screen we actually get into the customization here we can change face shape we get a decent amount of choices and yeah it's not like fallout where you can mold your entire character 
it is still a good amount of choices and under this is the option to change skin color also with a decent amount of choices which i really like and under that choice we can actually get glasses uh it's a limited amount for now but i like if this is what you get in the beginning of the game i do think you probably can buy more glass in game when you might go to like diagonally or somewhere um so yeah really really cool to see that then the next step takes us to the hairstyles here it's simply a fair amount of choices in hair color and styles next to the hairstyles is a slide for even more styles to choose from and i really like that you can already see different types of hair which is really cool and i really like that they added that to the game in the next tab it gives us complexion choices where we can choose from uh, freckles moles to even scars and markings a really cool option to add and what a way to make your character more mysterious looking by showing up at hogwarts with scars or markings on his or her face that's really cool and the last step we can see is the eyebrows tab where we of course can change eyebrow color and shape but also our eye color and, and we get a decent collection of eye color so it seems which is really cool it's it's a lot of choices so the last step we don't get to see they don't go over it but um it it, it has the hogwarts crest on it so the first thing that i thought is it's simply to pick your house that you want to be in or i don't hope it's simply though i hope it's or you pick the house you want to be in or you take like a small quiz so you get like a randomized well not a randomized answer but an answer that fits with the questions you uh you answer there which would make it better in my opinion <laughs> so yeah this could all like this could all still change but i do think we get like a fair look at what we can expect in game from the character creation which is really cool so far i really like it the, the style like oh my god it's so beautiful i i really like what they're doing with that and as always i want to know what your thoughts are so leave that in the comment section down below are you excited for the game even more the the more we see of it which is really cool um yeah like don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like it um see you on the next video thank you all for watching and have a good day